Uh, bye, welcome back. We're playing the thing. Let's, let's do it. Playing the feud. English much? So I need to sum out. I need no. I need to keep her. Do I need to keep her? Can I get rid of her? I mean, you can switch her out. Okay. Well, then I'll switch her out for Lulu because Lulu does the magic. So. And then Kamari can she, kill the thingies. She keeps all. And we don't have to look at you. Uh, you suck. No, life sucks. Yeah. See, she does way more damage than Lulu does. Waka. Yeah. Waka, waka, don't you wanna waka, waka? I don't, I don't think that's right. Man, now I want orange soda. Actually, no, I want grape soda. I want some grape drink. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer? No, we're literally halfway there. We're down to a thousand health now, as opposed to two thousand. I mean, yeah. It shows you his health. Oh, does it? Did it not? I don't think it did that in the old game. Oh, so watch. I'll do thunder. Uh, see, two hundred, two hundred. Yeah, on the sin scale. Yeah. It did not, I'm almost 90, 95% certain it did not do I that don't in the old it, game. I don't think it did before, but we're going to get people Because I, I remember this fight was a pain. And it took forever. Yeah, it took forever, and it you'd have like no it idea it felt like it took what forever. you were doing to him. I'm going to lance it now. I just want to attack him in the dark half. I think Kamari, actually, with the lance thing, can actually hit Sin. No, I don't think you can. With the jump, the no, bounce I've, thing? I've, I've, already, I've already tried. I've oh, already, okay. Uh, I mean, I may not have already tried. We'll find out here. Uh, Waka, do you wanna... No, no, Waka, just a second. Okay. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, you just wasted that move. That was a perfectly good move. You're absolutely right, I did. Shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think well, no. that about you a lot of times. No, Kamari needs... She's a good health. Kamari, Kamari needs to not get rid of Because Kamari's on... Kamari's on my way. Yeah. Look, it's the uh, Waffle House. No, it's not. It's a... Is that a shoulder pad? What? It looks more defined. Like, watch... watch. No, I, I know what you mean. But... I never got to it, the end I mean, of the it game. It could be. I never got to the end of the game. We don't know I don't know. Yeah, I don't is. know what Sin looks like. I have no idea. Besides the giant whale. You know. Like... You, okay, Alright. Uh, you know, I, I, I can say too. You're right. I can. This Final Fantasy game, to me at least, is like one of the least Final Fantasy feeling games ever. Really? Yeah. Really? Just... But you go on the epic quest, you get the uh you go get to participate in the Buzzball tournament, then you go like investigate No wait, the drill was in eight. Uh but there's it's it's Final Fantasy E E. It is, but it still doesn't Maybe it's the enemies or like the whole concept of sin being constantly through the through it. It just doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy game to me. I don't know. I don't ask me why. I'm bringing the house down. You ready? I'm gonna end this bitch with Kamar. Yeah. Deuces. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to end it. But it's totally nice. See, look, it looks like a like a shoulder pad. Uh -huh. Yeah, I I know what you mean. But I don't know why some dude would just be swimming sideways in the air. Yeah, see, because there's... it's tail. So it's a giant worm? I don't know. I could Google it, but I don't want to, because yeah, I want to find out. Ones, Bryce. Your boat is not going to go anywhere with that tiny paddle. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you know that's what they did with old, the old, like, yeah. warships. Yeah. They were paddle-powered. Yeah, but they should have, like... The, oh no, he ripped off our turret. Not, not, not old stuffy. What are you doing, you idiot? You know what? Yeah, the, that's what everyone else is thinking. You know what the best idea in this situation is? Go swimming after the turret that's already been ripped off your boat. And no, it's still, nothing to do with the turret. Is, and it's still attached to Sin. No, he's getting dumbass. Well, how did he fall in the water? There was no footage of that. Yeah, it was. Was there? Yeah. Okay. We just weren't paying attention. All right. Waka, waka. Look, it's Pac-Man. I made that joke already. Did you? Yeah. Um, Last week. Uh, do his hips lies? Do do his hips? Do his... Uh. We do don't his, English very well, apparently. Do his hips lie? Yes. It's Shakira. That song, waka waka. Ha-ha! Look, dolphins! This is what I was talking about! Yeah! This fight! 
When you're like, oh. That's a bit of sin. I'm done with the boss fight. And the game's like, no, the hell you're not. It's like sin's left testicle or something. That is a shitty testicle. Sin spawn. Sin spawn. So, so it's sin seen. I don't mind, but I can't do, do shit about it. Yep, you just keep throwing things at yeah, it. Yeah, but now I can't. Now I don't have. Oh yeah, I remember this thing never hits. Now I don't have a, a proper uh, point of reference for how much health he has because I don't have the info anymore. Oh yeah, because you don't have. What's your name? Yeah. Okay, so I need some health. You love Waka. Oh no. no I mean, I'm gonna focus Waka position. Flocka. Waka Flocka Flame. No, he touches. He touched the booty? He touches the no-no screen. You made that joke last time, too. Did I? Multiple times. Well, you know what they say. By all laws of nature, he should be dead with that attack. By all laws of nature, this is a video game. No, because it's called Blender, and if you put electronics in the line, it will fry. I'm trying to figure out your logic. The attack name was called Blender. I, I get that. If you put a blender in water as an electrical appliance while it's plugged in, you will get shocked and die. Okay, maybe, but... It was a bad joke. It was a very bad joke. Leave me alone. Never. I know my health doesn't go that high, but I want to be full health. So I'm going to use a high potion. <laughs> a high potion. Why are you going to make it about weed? Does it heal you for 420? Why you gotta make it about weed? Because it's funny. No, it's not. It's that lowbrow humor everyone loves. You give me chronic migraines. Chronic yeah, migraines? Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah. Do you appreciate that? Yes, I do. No, I don't know because I worked really hard to come up with that in point two seconds. Yeah. I just die humor, on Humor, everyone. Humor. See? Blender. Also, I'm pretty sure his part of his body should yeah, be that, that, that fast. Well, it's not even attached. Look at it. It, like, hovers. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh. Boom! He actually hit And it. I didn't kill it. Nope. <laughs> thought I did. It was exactly so does it, like, have ice powers, or...? No, it's just got floaty bits. It's with the steamy kind of weird stuff. It's, it's singes. That's how they represent it came as part of it's a touch touch of the touch of the duty. Don't ask me, I'm clearly not here today. Clearly. I was up at six in the morning. What were you doing? Uh sleeping till seven. See? There you go. Now my computer doesn't work. Like. So upset. Yep. I figure out what's going wrong with it. Don't touch the duty. The duty? The, the, the Judge Duty booty. No. We are not doing Judge Booty jokes. <laughs> we are not. We will not stoop that low. Why not? We will stoop pretty low. I killed it! I killed it. You know what that means. Just Smith. Judge Booty resides. <laughs> resides, rather, not resides. She, she just lives on the courtroom. <laughs> she sleeps underneath her little desk. I actually heard Judge Judy something about like. Well, none of it's real. It's all. No, 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 no. Like, but the like, higher... she actually like her husband oh, cheated on her. Oh, here we go. Something like that. Yeah. We're trying to have an emotional scene here where you're telling oh, you to red, sure. and you're like, "Yeah, Judge Booty divorced her husband because he did not respect the booty." Well, I don't know. Should he divorced him? But I heard something about him cheating on her. I don't know. I have no idea whether it was true. See, it was some like random see, Buzzfeed he, bullshit. He not, so he did not respect the booty. No. Five seconds after I say we will not stoop this low, we stoop that low. Uh, that's how we work. Yup. You you go. I'm not gonna do a thing, and I'm like, you're, you're gonna do a thing. And, and then, then I do the thing. thing. Oh, Judge Bruce. And they're all dead. Right to the two by four to the cooter. Intense mm. cooter pain. No, just no. One of them was Jerome. 
We're just flying away. In Poor the, Jerome. In the debris. In the debris. We're not going to explain that joke. Jerome just flew away in the debris. Yep. It's going to be like that, uh, <coughs> you know, the band uh, Ninja Sex Party. Yes, I know that band. It's going to be like that joke, expl not never explaining why, um, uh, what's his name? Sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is it? What is it? Dave. Doug. 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 It's going gonna, it's gonna to be why they never explain why Doug sucks. He just does. He just does. There goes Jerome. When Sin attacks Anarchin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work. It didn't. Hey, he skipped a cutscene. I thought. I didn't skip a cutscene. He did. No, I didn't. I just, I just, I just, I just skipped the dialogue. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of the cutscene. It was skippable. I was just fooling my. This I can't skip. Oh, maybe. See? No, I'm just skipping dialogue. I'm just ruining people's experiences. Now. Started. Yeah. Now just look how everyone's sad. Look, it's sad. Look, we need to go home. Sad emo whiny dialogue. That's sad emo and whiny. Oh, look, what are we gonna do? And then Yuna's all like, hey, white Christian guilt. Let's bring everybody, like, send them to the, uh, the, uh, the, the place. Heaven. But Yuna's not remotely Christian. It's a metaphor! We went over this. It's a metaphor. It's kind of a metaphor. No, it's a metaphor, my man. Do you remember this part in the game? I do. When you get to watch the beautifully sad, haunting, like... It's actually a pretty cool cutscene. Death Summon... Yeah, to send everybody to pretty the, fucking cool the, to 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 whatever they call heaven in this game. Yeah, to make them not become monsters. To ma yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, people died because of sin and then they became monsters. The, right. the, the the little sparkly soul what things formed together. <laughs> were people on when they made these games? A all of lot. them. All of them. Just all of them. Like seven was about like a giant meteor that was going to ruin the earth, but it, they it, they had to like allow it because it was going to stop pollution. I think. Is that about right? Kind of? Yeah. I mean, it still destroyed the world, but I've, it destroyed the world in a good way. I've, you know, if there is such a thing. Have you, uh, are you familiar with the theory about Final Fantasy VIII wherein Squall is dead? Yes. I love that. If you haven't heard this theory, this is the theory. So you get to end of disc one. And at the end of disc one, there's a boss fight that all of disc one builds up to where you fight this queen who's evil and is trying to, like, take over the world as they do. And... So you get to this whole boss fight, and in the middle of this boss fight, the middle of the boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. The, 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 yeah, there is did, a. Did many Bothans die? Yeah, many Bothans. That's all they're good for is delivering things and dying. I'm not wrong. No. So they, uh, I'm gonna, you know, we can't even talk over this cutscene. So they, uh, they, they build up this fight, right? And you get trapped in this uh, Champs Elysees slash like Arc de Triomphe gate looking thing. Sending. On a parade float, because you were gonna sniper during a parade, and you end up in this cutscene, and he dude gets a straight up magic icicle blast through the chest, like impaled, like should be dead, and then you wake up in the nest on the next disc, like on some beach. Completely fine. Completely fine. So the theory is that what really happened at the end of disc one is that Squall, who's the main character, died. And the whole rest of this is like some kind of fever dream about him like dying and leaving all the things in his life behind. And that's the game that came before this one. Still alive. No. No, it's the game before that came before the game that came before this one. Wanna try that again? One more time. That was eight. Then there was nine. This is ten. That's what I said. It's the yeah. game before the one that came before this one. Is that like the land before the land before time? Yes. Okay. That's a. Did you. Okay, do you know the story behind that? Land before let's, time? Let's talk about something else here that's really dark and depressing. You know the story behind that? What? The girl who played Ducky. Yeah, I know that. You know the story? Yeah. The little girl who played Ducky apparently got murdered by her father with an axe. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Where they may rest in peace. We are horrible people. I mean, if you didn't know that already, I mean, we're, we're about ten episodes into this series, and if you didn't gather that by episode two, you might have a problem understanding basic fundamentals. Basically. Can I... Oh, we gotta watch this cutscene. After this cutscene... Jesus! Uh, I mean... This is not, what it is. No, yeah. It's a Jesus cutscene. This is. See? And you were saying that this is not a religious metaphor. You continue I never to say, said it's not. Uh, I said it's kind Brian, of a religious Brian, metaphor. Brian, rewind it back. Robbie it was at least like, eh, kind of, in like a denial sort of tone. And you get bombarded with more and more proof that it is a religious Oh, no, I, I never allegory. said it isn't. I said it's kind of one. Because this isn't blatant. 
Because this isn't blatant. It gets into religion a little bit, but it doesn't, like... She has to go undergo these trials. She has to do this grand thing. She has to do it. You it find out. Religious... You find out yes. later that by doing it, she's going to die. Spoiler alert. And you're telling me it's Spoiler not... Spoiler alert, it's a little late there. And you're telling me that it's not a metaphor for religion. For religion, yes. Not necessarily Christianity. But... There are a lot of religions that have pilgrimages. Okay, okay. And, and death. Huh? And death. Yes. Sacrificial death upon the gift of the bestower who brings, like, happiness to people? That's most religions, yes. Okay. That's a pretty cut scene, and we're still talking because I literally, I can't, I can't skip it. No, I just let the pretty, I like this pr cut scene. This is, like, one of the coolest cutscenes. you cut almost scenes. just say let the pretty lady send people to heaven? Yes. No, I like this cutscene. It's one of the pretty cutscenes. Well, they're all pretty now, because they're all in HD. Well, you know, even in the original, this this was a very... Yeah. I mean, when it first came out, yeah, it was definitely... Like, when you when I first played this game, when I get to this cutscene, I just went, holy shit. Well, no, because we all did the same thing during 8, when you get to the ball and everything like that. Because when you're playing the game, it's pixely and ugly as crap. Then you get to the ball, and it's like animation like this. Yeah. On a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. You're like, Final Fantasy VII was the same way. Excuse me? Busqua. Yeah, she did a thing. SpongeBob's house is still fucked. Kamari's this like pineapple's no longer under the sea. Kamari's like I'm ready to leave this planet. Being a summoner, I can't see that. No. From the beginning, what it meant. See? Cutscenes. The game. Right? No. What, what what game was it that had like the three hour cutscenes? Until the. There was a game, I want to say it was like an FPS type game. It had like three hour, it was reported to have three hour cutscenes in it. What are you talking about? I don't remember the name of the game. You're helpful. Google it. I don't want to. I'll Google it between episodes. Right. He's like, oh, this is, this is heavy. I don't know how to handle it. I was like, I was just told that we were going to like help her go on a trip. We were going to summon some things and I was going to bang her. I was not expecting all this death. This is upsetting. That's what Titus just did. Pretty it's much. Like, uh, okay. plane by now, but no tears next time. Mm -hmm. And Lulu is just like, yeah, you sent a bunch of people to heaven. Don't cry about it. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> that is the one like redeeming character trait for uh, Lulu. That she's she a is bitch? an ice cold, heartless bitch. But she actually does kind of give a shit about you. Horrifying. Nobody else. She despises. Everyone else in the group. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, save point. Hey, stretchy, stretchy wine wine. Hey, he's got to stretch before he can let you get to the save point. Thank you. There you go. And on that note, next time on Becker Brothers Gaming, we will figure out what we just signed ourselves up for by taking this chick, who's eventually apparently going to die, on a long trip to collect a bunch of things. It's like Pokemon, but with death. I mean, kind of? Bye-bye! Have fun.